Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Pat with the Clarkstown Parks and Recreation Department. With me today I have Steve and Chris, and we're gonna go over a couple of games that you can do uh, with household items such as cups, beads, stuff like that. Stuff that you would have around the house to entertain yourself. Um, the first one we're gonna go with is called Water Pong Shot. So what you're gonna do, you see the setup here, you could do three to six cups, set up a design however you'd like. Um, fill the cups about a quarter of the way with water. You're gonna take turns shooting back and forth, uh, trying to make it in the cup. If the person makes it in the cup, they will remove that to the side. The first person that hits all their cups wins the game. So we're just gonna do a little demonstration just to show you what it should look like. I'm gonna start over here with Steve. He's gonna shoot over on the red side. If it goes in, now Chris is gonna take that all to the side. That one is out of play. You can just leave it on the side of the table here. Just, yep, out of the formation. Now he's gonna take his turn back and shoot it. Oh, miss. And you just shoot it back and forth. You can do this with, with four cups, six cups, 10 cups. You can make your own little designs however you wanna do it. It's a fairly easy game to play at the house. Find a table, find a surface. All it takes is just a ping pong ball and a couple of cups of water and stuff you can entertain yourself with if you're inside the house. Let's see if we can get another one in here. Oh, also if you, if you should bounce it off the table into the cup, that takes away two cups, that's a two pointer. So Chris can give you an example of a, a bounce shot. If he would have made that in, it would have been two cups taken away. And like I said, the first one to hit all their shots is the winner, and you could play, play this for hours, honestly. There we go. Started off hot night. <laughs> but this is an easy game, easy setup, easy cleanup, and a lot of fun. All right? Last shot. Oh. All right, the next game we have uh, set up here is called the Flip Cup Game. Again, using stuff that you have in your house. These, these solo cups goes a long way with all these games and activities that we're gonna show here. Um, the object of this game, as you can see, uh, Steve and Chris have set up their cups facing right side up with a little bit off the edge. The goal of this game, you're gonna set it a little on the edge and you're just gonna give a little flick and you wanna try to make it land on the other side. So you can set it up, you know, five, six, eight, ten cups, however many you decide you wanna do and verse a partner. And the first one to go down the line and get all their cups to stay on the other side will be the winner. Again, easy entertainment, stuff you have at home that uh, you can make all these games with. So I'm gonna have them demonstrate what it should look like. They lined them up on the side, and I'm going to say three, two, one, and they're going to try to get all their cups to flip to the other side. Three, two, one, go. And if it doesn't, they keep going until once they hit it, they will move down the line to the next one if they should hit one. There we go. Now Steve will move down to the next one. And as, as you hit it, you keep moving down, and the first one to complete their line will be the winner. Looks like, looks like Steve may have done this a few times. You could also do this game with, with partners or three on a team and you could set up, set up cups and you say, okay, every other one and flip. It doesn't have to just be a one-on-one. -on -one. This could be a group, group activity. But again, using stuff that you, have, you might have in your house already to make activities such as this. It's an easy activity, fun, and, and you could play it for a long time. All right, the next activity, again, as you can see, we're using these cups again. How many, this is the third time, use the cups over and over and you get a bunch of activities out of them. This one's called the stack cup. So as you see, um, Steve here has mostly green cups with the red on the bottom. That's his starter cup. You see Chris here, he has mostly red cups with the green on the bottom. How this is gonna work, they're gonna take the cups from the bottom, from the top, and put it underneath and they will have to race against each other. The first one to get their color back to the bottom will be the winner. This is a race against the other person. Are we ready? Let's see how this should be done. They're gonna demonstra demonstrate. Here we go, go. And again, you just take it from the top, put it on the bottom, and once, that, once your starter cup comes back to the bottom, whoever gets that one first will be the winner. We got a close race here. Close race. Who's it gonna be? Yeah, no. 
Steve, oh. by a cup. By a cup. And again, you take about 15 or 20 of these solo cups, you got one color, one odd color, 15, 20, you could do 10, whatever you got in the house. And, and again, it's an easy game. You're using cups over and over. Now this is our third activity with cups. Stuff you have in your house can make an easy game. All right, next game. What a surprise, we're using cups again. Uh, this one's called the sorting cup. So what I gave uh, Steve and Chris here, a uh, bunch of these little, little beads right here. You can use colored beads, you can use colored candy, you can use coins, anything that can be sorted into four or five categories. And how this is gonna work, they have a, uh, five cups with five different colors and they place one bead of each color in each cup so they know which one is going into each cup. They are going to, when I say go, they're going to dump their pile of beads out in front of them. Using one hand, they must sort each color into the cup, whatever designated color they have. The first one to sort all their beads correctly into each cup will win the race. Are we ready? We're ready. Yeah, just like right in the pile in front of you. Yeah. All right, on the count of three, they're gonna pour them out. They're gonna take one hand at a time. They're gonna one bead and put them into their colors. Here we go, three, two, one, go. And they already have one, one bead in each cup to start so you know exactly which color you're going into. Again, you can use this with M&M's, Skittles, Mike and Ike's, coins, beads, marbles, whatever you have laying around your house that can be sorted into different, different categories will work for this one. And make sure when you start this game that you have the same number of whatever you're sorting so it's an even race. Again, household, household items, anything that you find around the house that can be sorted. You, you, have, you probably have all these around your house and you didn't even know that you can make these activities that'll keep, keep you busy for a few hours. Looks like another close race. Steve coming down to the end here. Again, the theme, the theme of these games is household items that you can use to make these activities. <laughs> And you're gonna, inevitably, you're going to be laughing and joking the whole time. And we got Steve again with the win. But again, fun activities, stuff around your house. That's the theme here. All right, next game. We're going to do the Mega Bubble, it's called. All you need for this game is a hula hoop or any kind of circular target you can make at home, maybe with a paper plate or something. Be resourceful with uh, what you have at home and a package of bubbles. The way this is going to work, usually we would have two teams going against each other, but we're just going to give a quick demonstration of what the game should look like. So I have Steve over here. He's got his uh, case of bubbles and a bubble wand, and he is going to blow a bubble or two, and he's going to try to follow that bubble and blow it up with his breath and keep it going, keep it moving, and he's going to try to hit that target, go through the hoop that Chris is holding over there. Again, this would normally be a, a race event, but we're just going to show you what it should look like. So Steve's gonna start, let's say three, two, one, go. And he's gonna have a few bubbles. He's gonna try to follow one, keep it blowing without popping it. If it does pop or it hits the floor, he will go back to the beginning. He's gonna try to keep it up. And he's gotta try to get it right through that target there. Chris is keeping that target still. He's not gonna move it. And the first one to get it through, normally this would be, oh, it hit the top. So now he would have to go all the way back, blow another bubble and try to get it going again. See, so you got four or five, you got to pick one. Oh, now he blew three off of that. And gently, gently, gingerly try to get it through that target. Let's see if he can do it. Here we go. There we go. Again, this would normally be a race event. You could have two teams, three teams, four teams, but this is the idea of the game. This is how it should look like. You pick a distance apart. One person holds the hoop as a target. One person is the bubble. You could even say, okay, first one to get it through, and then you switch partners, come back, and the first two, first two people to get it would win. But you can vary it however you like, but this is how it should look like. All right, this is the last game we're gonna present to you. This is called the Oreo cookie face roll. The way this is gonna work, I'm gonna hand Steve, well, he's gonna take one, one Oreo sandwich cookie. Chris takes another Oreo sandwich cookie. Again, we have Oreos, you can use any little small cookie that you have at home, a cracker or something. Object of this game, this is gonna get funny. This is where you're gonna laugh. They are going to place the cookie 
on top of their forehead. They have to gyrate their head, move it, and have the cookie go all the way down to their mouth. The first one that can get the cookie down to their mouth, or you can race against yourself, try to get it in a minute, will be the winner. Again, this is, this is for sure a laughable game. You're going to be laughing at the faces that are about to come. If they drop, I have a few extras, but this is a race. Whoever can get it from the top of their forehead, wiggle it down their face, and get it into their mouth will be the winner. Again, stand by for some laughs here. Are we ready? I'm ready. On your mark, get set, go. Again, it just takes a little bit of wiggling. You don't want, oh, oh Steve, I'm not lost Steve right. dropped one. Just takes a little bit of wiggle. Try to catch it. Oh, it's on my eye. Now you got one on the eye. Just a little, little gyrate. It only takes a little bit of movement. You can see weird faces here. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Chris has it on the eye here. Oh, now see if it drops. If you catch it, try to start. Oh, Chris, Chris is getting close. You got to oh, just wiggle. <laughs> you just got to wiggle it down. He's got a tongue on it. There we go. <laughs> he got it, the winner! <laughs> Again, we showed you about five or six games here. Stuff that you have in your house, uh, cookies, cups, beads, sorted stuff, little ping pong balls. This is all stuff that maybe you have in your house that you can create these fun little activities for and you'll have fun for hours, guaranteed.